Hello, loves. Here we go. <laughs> it is fun Friday. It's good Friday. And it's another day to immerse yourself in these diamond light codes and the golden rays of ascension that are coming through the sun. I'm coming on here today to talk about this. So um, if you haven't already, I have posted a photo this morning with the sun and it's the shape of a diamond. And in it, you can see the golden rays coming out and um, it's the shape of a diamond for the diamond light coats that come back, that come in every spring equinox. Um, most people aren't aware that the diamond light coats come in every spring equinox, but they do. And you'll see it clearly that the, the sun is the shape of a diamond in the photo that I took yesterday. Um, it's been like that um, for a couple weeks now. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, you're like really, really high right now, connected. <laughs> um, so I wanted to explain some things because I'm getting some uh, messages. I want to tell you of some new visions that are coming through. I've got some um, uh, codes coming in again through me for everyone today. And this is for resurrection, for rebirth, um, for your soul's um, advancement and ascension. <laughs> Okay. I'm being asked to start with the, the um, those of you that are affected by the light language. A lot, um, what I have been um, guided with the light language recently is that there is word being passed on that when I do these um, live broadcasts and the videos that people are getting their healings and, and receiving these codes and they can really feel the energy running through them when the um, work is coming through I me mean, because I am a conduit for source. So as powerful as they are, the power is not mine. And I want to explain that to everyone. You will not hear me going around saying, I'm so powerful. <laughs> because it's source working through me. Um, I have done healing in every lifetime, so it's part of the soul, yes, but it's the connection of divinity of source. And when you get to a certain level of light and you can connect um, with no obstacles in the way, you have no clearing to do, this is very powerful, creator can come through very powerfully um, to shift to help shift souls. souls. So one of the reasons I have returned in this lifetime again is to assist with ascension. And I've done it in many lifetimes. And in this lifetime, for those of you that are receiving the codes through the light language and you're feeling um, um, afterwards, you're feeling, uh, some have said they're feeling like uh, negative or they don't understand the feeling or they're feeling um, like uh, stuff has, is, is um, submerging in them but they don't understand. They think that what I'm doing is not good. It's exactly the opposite. The, one of the reasons I'm here is to push people into their purification process. Um, just as I do in my workshops, I tell everyone if I touch you, you're going to start purification. You have to go through purification to go through ascension. It's part of the process. And the purification is the mind, the body, the soul all has to go through purification. You can't just do one and not the other. You can't just focus on the physical body and be in great shape and eat great things. It's all of us. Everything is interweaved and interdesigned. Everything works together. It's unity. <laughs> so 
those of you that do not understand that the light language that comes through that activates codes within you or that pushes you into purging so that you can release and you can see where the negative um, vibrations are in you and you can find those areas where you have energy blocks it's basically telling you what you need to work on um, I had one person comment on my um, business page that they said not to be negative but your stuff does this to me so I had to go have a Reiki session to clear it well yes that's exactly what it's supposed to do it is supposed to bring up that stuff within you that you need to clear but do not always rely on someone else to do the clearing for you you've got to do your own inner work it's so very important because if you just go and have somebody constantly clearing you um, like Todd and I talked about is you're going to continue those patterns if you don't get down to the root of why you have these blockages okay so um, so when these different ascension key codes come in okay which is going to be new ones today it's going to push you into more purging so those of you that are receiving these or that are listening to this you're very lucky yay good for you <laughs> pass it on the others so that they can receive it too so that they can purge those things because this is like almost like a step forward to help this is an assistance to help you move forward where the others if they don't receive it they'll continue on their journey um, in their way and maybe they're not supposed to but for those that are seeking a little bit of a push or acceleration in it this is how you'll receive it um, it's just source coming through because I carry many different key codes to be able to activate they activate me to activate in you so I wanted to explain that and I also want to say that for those that don't know because there were some people that were bringing um, a negative energies on to the live last time that were saying negative things just know um, to those of you that are participating that what comes through is all in the highest um, light and then the highest benevolence it's the highest love I only work with the highest benevolent councils and light beings the highest benevolent angels the highest benevolent God's God says all of it it's all benevolent it's all for the good and it's all in love um, so if you see people creating a negative comment just have compassion and remember they're sleeping they don't understand what's coming in. They don't understand what's coming through to assist. And I'm going to tell you something now. Those people that are receiving it, they're walking away or running away. And in days later, they're feeling it. <laughs> so they can say whatever they want. Whatever said does not affect me. I, I'm in full compassion for them and I live heart based so they can be as negative as they wish to but it, it really never affects me all I can do is um, I know in my heart that it's assisting them in some way they can continue to stay in the ego living but they will shift into heart based reality eventually in their process so with that said <laughs> um, thank you I have a lot of assistance here again today um, so you see behind me I have the um, light codes that I posted this past week I think it was this week <laughs> that um, came through um, yeah it was this week wasn't it Todd I saw your thing just go up but I don't know what you said um, these came through one morning and I've been focusing in meditation to see what they are so I'm going to go over them because I have one more code that has come in and actually it's from the way that picture of the Sun is they told me pay attention to that and then I did and guess what it's a code that Sun is a code that you're seeing up there um, I'm gonna do it in the color. so with these um, I want to explain for this what I see here is the energy of the Sun okay and I'm going to write this here moon okay these are the rays this here actually my friend Marla she messaged me and she goes that one is a rune Kalina and I'm like oh what does it mean <laughs> and so she sent me a little picture this is about truth being revealed this is also about um, rebirth 
again, here we go, rebirth. So we're going through that time right now in this process with the sun, um, which I call the grand shift. Some are calling the event, but it's shifting. It's bringing the awareness um, to the light. It's bringing it to you. And um, so the truth is being revealed. So um, this is truth. And I'm going to say rebirth because that is what is happening right now in this moment of time with the energy um, and with the actual timing now. It's Good Friday. We have Easter Sunday. It's rebirth. Okay. It's that cycle that we're going through with the spring equinox. So this stuff is coming. So we have the energies of the sun, the energies of the moon right now. Okay. We also have a full moon coming up tomorrow. So, and that's a blue moon. Um, and that moon is in Libra, going into Libra, which is also Libra. Um, let's say I took some notes in my, you know me, when I do my meditations, I take my notes. Um, oh, that's also a, with the full moon, it's a 7-11 um, day, okay? Um, significant 7-11, that's spirituality and awakening pay attention to the moon cycle tomorrow and how you feel with it pay attention to it because it may be bringing bringing things up that you're going to need to clear okay so this blue moon that's coming and these this christ energy sun okay so we've got blue moon um, that's this Christ consciousness, sun, the stuff that's coming through the sun. I've got these two energies. These are the energies of the two. And what do the two do? The sun and the moon are balanced. <laughs> okay. Um, this symbol as well, I keep hearing Aztec with it. So I'm not, I keep hearing that. I keep hearing Aztec. Um, uh, and I don't know the ancient pictures or hieroglyphs or anything. I feel like they're more like faces and things like that, but they're saying this is like Aztec. It's also um, different Indian symbols, like native Indian symbols and cultures of sun. Um, okay, yes, I'm just going to leave it there because they said yes. So now this symbol here, I'm not positive yet. I have not connected that to these two. It may come through as we're talking. So we have the Christ sun, we have the blue moon, we have this, this 7-11, the codes of spirituality and awakening again. Um, this here is the shift, like an adding of another DNA, okay? Awakening to another DNA level. It's another, um, let me write that. Another DNA activation, key activation code that is coming. So we are moving because remember we are, we had our DNA uh, deactivated to a certain point. It's the new DNA activations that are uh, happening and coming in with these um, codes of light through the sun. Um, so that and this with the two circles here. Um, I, I asked about that. Is that the sun and the moon? And I heard uh, as above, so below. So. That's that. And this is as above, so below. But I feel, oh, okay, I know what this is now. <laughs> yeah, are you guys ready? <laughs> um, this is the DNA strand non-activated. And now the truth is being revealed. So there we go. So this is the new activation. So it just came in just like boom, just like that. So there we go. Okay. This is the non-activated DNA. Yay! <laughs> I knew when I started talking it would come. And this is newly activated. Okay, this here, of course, this is masculine. This is feminine. The inverted is feminine. A lot of you know I have that inverted triangle necklace that I wear. Um, so this is masculine and feminine. And again, here we go. This, this balance, this is balance. Okay, so in check, we're going into harmony here. And if you see this here, go the next, they're, so they're next to each other here, and they're here above and below. 
in the center here, we have the equal sign. This is equality, okay? The equality of the masculine and feminine. All right, so this is what's coming. <laughs> so now I'm going to, let me see where if I can put the next one. I'm going to put it over here because it's a little bit more room. The sun that I posted the picture of, um, actually, I'm going to take this off and make a little more room. Let's put that up here. So that sun that, that, that there's a picture of, you'll notice that it is, <laughs> get this marker to write, right? It's a diamond. You'll see the sun looks like a diamond. And it looks like this. You will see exit points in that picture of the sun, okay? There you will see golden light shooting out, okay, of these points in that picture that I took. Everybody always wonders why I take so many pictures of the sun. <laughs> I'm very connected to the sun. I've worked with it in many lives. And um, it has a lot of meaning for me. It brings me a lot of um, information. I work with the sun. I work with the moon. So here is that picture of that sun. In between, there are other rays that are coming out, you know, and those are, uh, you will see the different colors in these. These are gold. These that come out from the circles, you will see there is gold. There's gold around the triangle. And there's gold coming out of the circles. You'll see when you look at that picture. And it's the golden ray. And I feel very much that it is the golden. Um, <laughs> I talked about this in the last video the move into the golden era because a lot of people didn't really know are we in it yet are we moving into it are we already in it people said oh we're in it in 2012 then you go back and a lot of teachers are like we really don't know but these golden rays are coming in this golden reactivation and um it's happening now through um this <coughs> spring equinox um, and through, I, I'm going to say, I still see 4-7, um, so April 7th. Now, <coughs> in the picture, you'll see in these, you're going to see um, rainbow color. Okay, the ones that are in between, they, they'll look rainbow. You'll see the blocks of rainbow. Those are activation codes. <coughs> and... Um, so we have the diamond light frequency codes coming in, and we have the golden rain. So they're, it's all coming in in this sun right now um, to activate you and to further everyone in their ascension process, to further everyone in their awakening. It's also for the uh, awakening, those that aren't, I feel this weekend there's going to be more awakenings, more shifts happening. Um, so Easter Sunday, Easter Sunday, they're saying yes, Easter Sunday. Okay, yes. So um, make sure if you can, if it's possible for you to get in the sun at least for 15 minutes a day to absorb those codes, okay? It's really important. If you can't get in there in the sun or it's not shining through for you know that it is coming through it is going into the earth and when we're on the earth it then absorbs into us when we're outside all right um okay i wanted to make sure i got that on there for you so what this is this is all this coming to this this is the christ the sun this is the sun and and you will see you will notice that the sun is like iridescent now it is so brilliantly white and iridescent it is the purity of christ okay try to look at it you're gonna hurt your eyes 
wear sunglasses. I've known this was coming for probably until from I told my daughter from when she was probably 10 years old. That's when I told her you're going to have to start wearing sunglasses all the time because the sun is going to change. She's 18 now. So for eight years, I've known this was coming. This is um, the Christ, the son of the Christ. This is the moon energies. This is the balance, but this is the energies coming through the sun and the moon. Okay. They're both activating, they're assisting and activating the non-activated DNA. Um, truth is being revealed with these activations and these awakening codes for everyone, not just those of us that are already um, awake and or partially awake. This is continuing activation for those that are sleeping. Um, so here, the, the newly awakened DNA, and I feel like we're going up. They're showing me 9, 12, 14, 9, 12, 14. So I think maybe, I feel like maybe they're showing that and maybe that's for different, depends on where you are in your process. Um, they're giving me those different numbers. They're, they're showing me 9, 12, 14. So it depends, I, I feel like it really depends on how much inner work you've done and what you've cleared so that you can actually, um, this can happen. Either way, everyone's being activated for whatever has been dormant. Okay, and so this is bringing in that balance of that masculine um, and feminine energy within you, the union. This is the union, okay, of the Christ energy within you. Um, and it's bringing equality. Equal, equal within you, okay? Equal within you, the union of these energies within you. Um, in this golden ray of light, in these diamond light codes. New level, new awareness of ascension. They just showed me another thing. I'm going to draw it. I'm literally seeing it right now. Uh... Hmm. This one is okay. So this one is a diamond, and this has a line going out like this, and there's circles at the end of it. Not receiving anything yet. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> hi, everyone. I see you guys saying hi, hello, hello. Um, I'm not sure what this is yet. It may reveal. It sure is pretty when I look at it from the board this way, though. <laughs> that would be a cool necklace. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I'll have to design that. Um, <laughs> um, I'm hearing solidify. Solidify is the process. This is all also representing the four corners. The four elements, the four corners, the four seasons. They said that is it okay so i should probably write that down so i don't forget <laughs> oh. solidify oh yeah there's, that goes in here and the four corners Oh, look at that. Four, four, four. Mm, Archangels. 
No, they're laughing with <laughs> they're laughing. I, have, I have a lot of laughter now. Da, 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 da. Thanks, Katumi. <laughs> it's like she's God, I think she's got it. <laughs> Oh, he's throwing popcorn at me. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, woo. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, all right, so I want to go over also, so I got the Golden Diamond Ray Light Codes. Um, they continue, they're continuing, and I really believe through April 7th, because um, I keep seeing four and seven. And, uh, four angels, seven spiritual. Okay. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> God, no, I left off the eleven. So um, four for the month. Angels. Seven, spirituality. Eleven, awakening. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. And also... Oh, silly me, 11, 11 day. <laughs> yeah, 11, 11. So that's going to be another 11 day, 11, 11 day. All right, see how it comes together when I talk out loud? <laughs> see? Yay. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Resurrection, rebirth, and unconditional love. This morning, I grabbed my um, goddess cards, and I just asked if there was a message for the collective today, and I had three cards fall, fall out. I had Maria Magdalena um, about unconditional love, and, um, and we are having, we are continually having these waves of unconditional love energy that are coming through. Um, so, and also it's unconditional love and compassion. Continue to remain in compassion for others, but also for yourself, okay? Forgiveness is key. Forgive others, but forgive yourself. That is so very important for everyone to forgive themselves. Because when you forget to do that part, you continue those, um, you consider, continue walking in those patterns, okay? It, it will continually come up for you. You will continually have energy blockages. You will continually, continually, um, if I bring you light language, you'll be, you'll be receiving that push or purge to do something. If you're not focusing on it, it's going to keep coming up. Okay, so stay in that state of grace. Stay in that state of unconditional love. Stay in the heart-based reality, that fifth dimensional. Um, and, and, and again, it's the whole, that ego is so powerful, it wants to keep you in that comfort zone where that non-reality really is. We're trying to move into reality of heart-based living, of what truly is with our authentic self. Um, and the only way you do that is by stepping away from that false identity ego, the one you created that um, really truly isn't yourself. Okay, thank you. Um, the other cards that came up, I had Ostara, which once again, she came up, um, or I talked about her in, I think, maybe my last video. Um, she represents spring and fertility and Easter. So once again, I'm not surprised she came up because this is the continuation of that. Um, and the other card that actually flew out was Goddess Kali. So... Um, and, and what's wild is, my nose always runs when I talk to everyone. What's wild is, um, I was with my kids this past week, and my daughter, we have a dog named Callie. Um, when I named her, I really never knew there was a goddess Callie. <laughs> um, Kaylee, my daughter, was looking at pictures of Callie from the last eight years or however long she has been in, in our lives. And I was all about Callie the last couple days. And then this morning, Callie's card comes flying out. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. So Callie is about new beginnings. Again, it's about clearing the old to make room for the new. So again, these activations you're going to receive today are going to assist you with purging some more, getting rid of some old stuff again so that you can allow the new. But Callie and Ostara together are working, I feel, um, 
in this fertility, they're calling it a fertility cycle. And I, I, and I'm not quite sure what they're meaning by that. It's very fertile time coming up, very fertile time coming up, is what they're saying. In order for you to advance in the fertility cycle, so like in creativity, because fertility is all these new thoughts and ideas and things that are coming to you, in order for you to advance in that and for you to um, create, you've got to let go. You have to make room. Okay, so with the purging, you have to make room. You have to let go of the old to allow the new. So in order for you to be able to create, you you have to step away from that ego control of perfectionism, I'm being told. There's so many people that are still um, like kind of, oh, how kind of this started in the beginning where I talked about the people that they don't understand or there's a lot of people out there that are very judgmental. Um, of my videos because I do them on Facebook Live and sometimes the um, it's a little choppy or jumpy from the Wi-Fi but this is about the message it's not about the perfection of the video so those that are still in that perfection that's ego okay it's not about things looking perfect it's about the message that's being brought through um, so there are, there are people that are want to create and they stop their own creative abilities because they think and feel that ego wants things to be perfect because that's how everyone outside needs to see you or whatever you're doing. That's not a reality. When you're in the heart based, ever you allow everything just to flow in creativeness. So step away from the perfection, okay? You can clearly see from my videos when I'm teaching that stuff comes to me <laughs> I'm like oh you know I'm being authentic I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna tell you the truth this just came okay we have to be that way then we're just being ourselves um, I don't pretend to know everything I just allow this stuff to come through um, okay and, and, and again, there is no spiritual ego. I'm getting all these messages with people saying I'm in spiritual ego. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> so I just laugh. I know that they're waking or whatever. Um, I just let the go, let go. Nothing hurts us. So when you understand that people looking outside at you, looking in, okay, look, people looking from the outside looking at you this way, if you feel like they're judging you, remember that you're the one doing the judging. You're judging yourself, okay? So allow it to just not bother you. Allow it to just have compassion and send it back. That's where I am now, where I just, I have to giggle and laugh and just send it back going, okay, I know where they are. And in that state of grace, as Maria said this morning, in that state of grace and higher love and higher wisdom, in that fifth dimensional heart-based reality, we just send the love back, okay? All right, so these two, Ostar and Callie, are working together right now. Um, call them in. Call in Callie if you need assistance with removing some of the old. Um, and call in Ostara for the fertility if you're, if you're stuck. You know, if you feel like you, you were working on something, but you're on this project or this idea or something, and you just can't advance it forward, call them both in. I feel like they're working together during this um, springtime. I just heard through end of April. So, okay, let's, I'm going to move forward. Um, my other moon, the stuff that I was showing is the full moon, which I already talked about. We have that full blue moon coming up on the 31st. Um, it's a 7-11 day. I already talked about that. Um, but very much pay attention to the energies uh, that moon is bringing. Um, and it is, a, as I said before, I don't remember if I said the whole part. Um, so everything flows through, so I forget what I say. I'll just say it again. It's in Libra. Yes, okay, they're showing me. It's about... The Libra brings intimate relationships, but it's all, oh, the balance symbols. <laughs> they just showed me the balance symbols. What do we got here? Balance, balance, balance. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> See? I'm telling you. Um, there we go. So the Libra has the balance. It's got the balance symbols. They're showing me the balance symbols. Um, also, in it's, it, it represents the intimate 
I feel intimate relationships are being adjusted. So you're either being adjusted um, and growing together, expanding together, okay, in a heart-based reality, or the intimate relationships, again, are ending. Callie is in the picture, so it's about new beginnings or um, endings. So again, look, um, step back and look at the relationship. Allow the feelings to come in. Allow the truth to come in, because remember, truth's being revealed. It's right there, plain as day. <laughs> Pay attention. Be in the heart, okay? This is so important with the intimate relationships. Be here. Okay, not the ego. We don't enter a relationship for ego-based reality. We, re we enter a relationship for heart-based reality. Um, also, don't forget to put your crystals out for the um, full moon and do a ritual. You know, write the stuff down you want to let go of and take that paper outside and burn it. Um, light it on fire. Fire is the end all of end alls. So you can do that under the moon. All right, so I'm going to bring in now um, some light language. Or language of light, whatever you want to call it. Angel language, language of love. Yeah, okay. I'm going to warn you guys now. I had a couple clients this morning that I did um, some work with with light language is very powerful. It's pretty much throwing them backwards. It's getting more and more powerful to shift you. So be prepared. Um, open your hearts, okay? And be prepared for this because this is um, this this these key code activations are important. This might go really fast, <laughs> so don't worry. Was it on my city and the court to two yen a satire, shoot to two yam and a kin, and yako to rest to two yam a satire, and a kin a titi and two to two yam a satire, shoot to two yam a maya. Urukana tata satire, a scorer to the remus to yam sick in the kitchen. Uno matayan, a two yam satire, and so to yam a technique and a autotorian and bataya. Mauka, ina anan tuo. Ruusut on nyt kerrottu terinä sinne ja kerrottu ihan se terinä suuja ja me jäänyt. Uuna kana suunto suun tuo mien kiinni ja nyt kuttu tuo tuo jäänyt terinä te. Ja nä anna unu mä tässä tätä tosin merkin se tuo 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 jäänyt kiinni ja nyt kuttu tuo tuo jäänyt sinne ja ra unna. Una e a Anna uno cura taia non sento ne metti in uno i tuoi anni. Chi che tu rosso tutto 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 tiema chi ne ha rosso tutto tiema iana a Anna uno rosso tutto tua. Una che ia. O canaia o sento ne ha sento pinti in uno i anni. Wah, kena orang korang santai dan santai korang santai dan santai ni yang nak korang yaitu yang nak kau tu 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 tu. Ayana. Ma sa che non torni a te. E a una, 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 una,
Jo una on sun to shuri ya kibini ya na moya. Ayana anasatare nta toka. Yana ini kira toa. Nahaki. Ma ana yu. Ni ana hi. Me tira ano una miente su. Te amo una mi. Ma ha su corante. No una sentene ni pitiente. Ya sana no. Ma uma ai huaite ira aro kone ira satar shuda. Korante mira satare ne kiito. Moriente ana una. Isa hi ana niti ira una sate. Uso huma no so hi ani uha si aya. Oriente senta. Usa. Kaniate Yato Suname Tiatua One Tana una me se tene un tubo. Oriente e cana la mesuto. Paraya o maica. Una santa niente. Ni anunta una. Now, the Ura de Metuso, also no Matini Queen Diana, Ura Anna on a Saturday, Pikia Urantu. Mahi Tora de Diana, Ura Punesta de Kipa, Arote. Niente chi è un uomo. Potente sentire la sua tonna tenne, il coro santone è stata rompa tuoni, e a onna. Na hantu kuna santa santa resi te repete, da karo santu na mea santa la santa, hina ana kara santa, ushu na ma, na sari ima. Na kari anto suna te la santa la santa re me kito e na tua, e santu ma yana. Na ona i e kita.
مثلا Matome e Ovaya. For he too is within me. For he too is within you. For she resides in me. Or she resides in you. Ne ora canasa tashmata me de quaranta. Una mea te sentosh. Ne ama. Anima. 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 So. Tu ma conete. You are the light of love. Anam Kosenderiati Nokuna Asanta Ura Mara Sente Mambanianta Eanna Oriana 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 Maria Oto Oriana Nasania ko asota u taime desi una ena uma yasita. Blessed are they that walk in the light. Blessed are they that live in the heart. Blessed are they that have not awakened, for they too are the love of one. Namaste. Um, so uh, the first energy was masculine and then we had um, Mostara and Kali and Maria so I'm going to leave it at that for this Good Friday and um, for the rest of your Easter weekend however you celebrate if you have a holiday with it or not um, be in the light, be in love, love from your heart, okay? I love you guys.